So when we were preparing for this event and figuring out the speeches, um, I was asked to talk about animals used for entertainment, so zoos, circuses, rodeos, uh, aquariums like marine land. And uh, for those of you who know me the best, they know that I can talk all day about the circus, the zoos, etc. And when we do the circus protests, I actually do spend pretty much all weekend talking about it. So I do have someone giving me a one minute warning. <laughs> um, I started organizing the circus itself in 2008, and I don't really know what it is exactly that caught me about that specific issue because I certainly participate in and organize letter writing campaigns about all animal rights issues, but this animals and entertainment just it hooked me. And um, in meeting with uh, Rob Laidlaw from Zuchuk a few years ago, uh, when he came to town for an opening of a movie, One Lucky Elephant, where we had like a, a screening, I should say, um, he said, this is such a winnable issue. And that always stuck with me. And I just, I guess I've stuck with it. And it's almost become my obsession. Every August when the circus is over, I'm already thinking, if it comes back, you know, I've already have ideas about what we're going to do. Um, because whether we're talking about orcas or monkeys or even horses and dogs that are being used in these traveling shows or put on display, this is just no life for any kind of animal. Uh, you know, the people that do work in these industries will tell you, oh, they get the best care. They get, you know, they have the best uh, treatment. We love our animals. Well, there's just no way. I mean, they can have proper food, but you can also have proper food in a, in a, in a prison. It doesn't mean that it's an okay place. Uh, if they actually love these animals, they would know that this is no life for them. Uh, even a dog. I mean, we do. We have dogs. We teach them tricks like sit and shake a paw or something. But if you aren't doing that, what are they doing? They're they're lying around. They're sleeping. They go for walks. They're not on the road, twenty five thousand kilometers a year, stuck in cages while they're waiting for their show to go on, and having to be subjected to you know, all kinds of bright noise, uh, bright lights, all kinds of noises, strange smells, strange people, from town to town, and they're just usually just stuck in these cages or in some kind of enclosure while they're waiting. They do their little show and you know they, have, they then they have to go back to the next town. And that's, so this is for wild animals, this is for domestic animals, it doesn't matter. Um, horses, you know, people will say, oh, horses love to be ridden. Well, there's no way, horses do not love to be ridden because if you leave a horse alone, they're not gonna be going, they don't start jumping over enclosures and you know, doing all kinds of uh, acrobats. They're, they like to be, they like to be cared for, but that's about it. The training methods that they use for these animals too. I mean, if you if you've seen any kind of elephant training videos, they're not doing these tricks because they want to. They are trained from infanthood, basically, usually stolen from from the wild. I mean, that's how you get a baby elephant. They don't do very well being bred in captivity in in the states, for example. But they are they're tied up in, in, with ropes and put into position with their mother nearby and not able to help them. So they learn that their mother is not gonna save them from this and they have to, they just, they break them basically. They use bull hooks and often electric prods as well to force them to do these tricks. And that's how they learn that you better do this trick because you're going to get this, you're gonna feel this pain. And I, I mean, I've talked to the circus people over the years, I've seen their quotes in the media their justification for these things. They, they, they won't even talk about the training. They just, their, their uh, main comment is, they love their animals. We treat them great. Um, you know, SeaWorld and Marine Land, these are animals that are stuck in what is would be like us being in a bathtub. Day in and day out, they, orcas and dolphins, you know, they don't, they don't spend their time in a tiny little pool in real life, in the wild. They're out swimming hundreds and hundreds of miles, and they have family pods. Elephants have pods. Female elephants stick together their entire lives in family groups, and they mourn each other. When they die, they mourn each other. They have feelings like we do. They, they grieve, they, they have fun. When you see, you see elephants playing, they, they like to play. They don't wanna be stuck in a tent, stuck in an arena, stuck in a chain, whatever it might be, however they're being held, that's essentially what it is. And you know, we have no right to do that to them for our supposed entertainment. Um, even in a zoo, for example, you know, people will say, oh, zoos are better because 
you know, they're not traveling around. Well, no, they're not traveling, but they're still in an unnatural setting. And zoos are not there to, to educate you. They're there to make money. Zoos are there to put their animals on display. They trade and sell animals all the time to get the animals that have the best you know, draw. They draw the best crowd. So if they have an animal that's not attracting crowds, they'll get rid of that animal. So it's not about educating. And they'll talk about conservation. Well, they're not populating the earth with animals from the zoos. They're populating zoos. They, if, you, if you breed a lion in captivity, it's no, never going to be in the wild. It's only going to be in captivity. So if you know anybody who thinks that zoos are good or that marine land is good or that some circus is better than another, none of them are good for animals. I never want to say that some zoos are better than others. I always say that some are worse than others because we should not be starting thinking that they're okay to start with and some are worse, some are you know, better. They're all bad for animals. They deserve to be living the life they were meant to live, whether it's in the wild or in, you know, in a sanctuary, if they're being saved from something, but never traveling around, never put on display. And we should never go to any of these events ever. There's plenty of animal free event entertainment that we can do that doesn't hurt any other being. Thank you.